Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Welkin. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the First European War. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him. That question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin.